Welcome to the third video in the Getting Started with Analyst Notebook series, which focuses on the definition of the ELP model as it relates to Analyst Notebook. The ELP model is based on entities, links and properties, hence ELP. ELP is used to model data so that it can be represented and analysed on an Analyst Notebook chart. Representing data using an ELP model in Analyst Notebook helps uncover details and associations that would be difficult to find in a spreadsheet of rows and columns. The ELP model is also used when designing database schemas for I2 databases, such as iBase and the Enterprise Insight Analysis Information Store. Now let's take a look at the E, L and P of the ELP model. Starting with E, entities are like nouns and are used to represent real-world objects or things or events. Examples of entities include people, vehicles, bank accounts or events, such as crimes or a social media posting or an SMS message. The L of ELP represents links. Links are like verbs and are used for actions or occurrences or states of being. In Analyst Notebook, links are used to represent a connection between two real-world objects, entities in the ELP model. Some examples of links include relationships between people, transactions between bank accounts, ownership of a vehicle by a person, or a criminal's connection to a crime. The P of ELP is for properties. In Analyst Notebook, properties are stored as attributes. These attributes or properties are used like adjectives or adverbs in that they describe the qualities for both entities and links. When used in an Analyst Notebook chart, they provide details about an entity or link. Each attribute or property contains a single piece of information about that item. For entities, examples include the first and last name of a person, the date of birth, or for a vehicle, its make, model and colour. Similarly for links, examples of attributes might be the duration of a telephone call or the currency of a financial transaction. Let's take a look at a simple spreadsheet to see how the rows and columns relate to the ELP model. This table shows some transactions between bank accounts. The from and to columns in this spreadsheet make up the entities in this data, and the transaction columns are the links. Looking in a little more detail, and using what we learnt in the previous Labels and Identities video, let's look at each column in the table. The from and to account columns make a reasonable label and identity for a bank account entity, as they are likely to be unique. The account type and bank columns on the from and to accounts could be used as attributes for the bank account entities. For the transaction columns, the amount column might be used as a label for the link, with the currency and type columns used as attributes. The date and time columns could be used as attributes, but it would be better to use them to populate the specific chart date and time properties of the link, as these will be more useful for analysis later on. In the example spreadsheet, each row represents an individual transaction between two accounts. Some of the from and to bank account details are duplicated, so it is important that the label and identities are correctly set when importing the data. Let's now look at bringing this data into Analyst Notebook as a chart. We are going to import directly from the Excel spreadsheet. Don't worry too much about the detail of the import process, this will be covered in a later video. I will start by creating a new import specification for the spreadsheet. We can see the columns from the spreadsheet in the importer now. The first three are the properties for the first account entity. The next five are the properties for a transaction link, with the final three being the properties for the second account entity. Each row in the table represents a transaction in the source data. I will create an association chart for the data so that we can see how the spreadsheet data corresponds to the ELP model in an Analyst Notebook chart. I've now set up the first account entity that the transactions come from, using the account entity type from the palette. As we discussed earlier, we'll use the from account column as an identity, and then add some attributes for the properties. I will use the existing attributes available in the chart for these properties. We will then repeat for the second account entity using the same entity type and attributes. Then I set up the link as a transaction link, setting the multiplicity so I can see all the links created rather than a summarized view. 
I will use the transaction amount as a label, as this is the key piece of information, and allows us to use it for analysis purposes later on. The direction is set as source to destination to show the flow direction of the transaction. The date and time columns will be used to populate the analyst notebook date and time chart item properties for the link. The other columns for the links will be added as attributes. I don't have a suitable attribute for the transaction type, so I'll let the importer create a new one. Analyst Notebook is not recognized in the time format, so I need to choose an appropriate format for it, and then run the import, saving the specification if you think you'll need it again. We can now see our spreadsheet, rows and columns, represented in the ELP model on the chart, which allows us to clearly see the direction and amounts of the transactions. By using appropriate identities, accounts that appeared multiple times in the spreadsheet are represented as a single account on the chart, making it much easier to see which accounts have multiple transactions in and out of them, which would be more difficult to identify in a spreadsheet. Let's look at each row of data in the source to see how it was transformed. The first row is a $17,500 transaction between two accounts at Second Interstate and Binkley's banks respectively. Moving on to the second row, we can see it has the same from accounts number. As this has been set as an identity, the account is not duplicated on the chart. Third and fourth rows, the relationships or transactions are between the same two accounts. Due to their use as identities, they will not be duplicated on the chart, but two transaction links will be created instead. The fifth, sixth and seventh rows will be worked in the same way as row two. Note that in the eighth row, the account numbers are reversed because the transaction was from account 2 to account 1. But the accounts will still not be duplicated as they are using the same unique identity. In this case, the transaction will be shown in the opposite direction. In conclusion, we've looked at some spreadsheets and charts and seen how Analyst Notebook takes traditional rows and columns in the source data and transforms them into a visualization of entities, links and properties ready for analysis using the ELP model.